Hey friends, how is it going? Today I am going to talk about Git, which is most widely used version control system in worldwide. So this video is basically will focus on Git basic and will give you a cheat sheet so we can quickly learn about different Git commands and use it accordingly. So there are other videos I have created which is Git concept. You may find it very useful. I strongly recommend you please visit git concept at least there are other videos where I talk about git advanced stuff. So git is a version control system as I mentioned git is so popular that most open source projects are being developed with git. I also recommend you should also be familiar with the git repository because most current projects are also migrating to git version control repository. And I also provided a cheat sheet where you will find all the commands. So Git is a distributed version control system. So when I say distributed version control system, that means you can replicate any Git repository in your local system. Let's say, let's say one project is running on cloud GitHub repository. You can very easily replicate the entire Git repository in your local system as well. There are multiple cloud hosted Git service providers such as GitHub, GitLab, and even IBM Cloud Git. You can work with any cloud hosted Git repository as per your preference. So let's move ahead. What will you learn? I am assuming that you are willing to work with Git and you do not have any prior knowledge. So I am starting from scratch. That means you need to install Git. So I have provided uh, the different links of different operating system, at least the most popular ones, Windows, Mac and Linux. So just uh, go to these browsers and install git in your uh, system and for Linux you can easily use sudo apt get install git all and then we will learn uh, how to configure the git repository your local repository and then I also show you how to create a git project on github definitely after signing up and creating a github account then we will set up a SSH key between your local system and github repository. So if you make any changes in your local repository, comment it and then you can easily upload all of your local changes into GitHub cloud based repository. So basically if you set up SSH key, so GitHub repository will automatically authenticate your local system and, and grant you to make any changes in the GitHub repository. So after that we will create a GitHub project and then we will clone or download the entire project into your local system. Then we will make some changes in your local system. We will commit it, commit the changes and try to upload all the changes to GitHub repository. You can see easily that if you go, if you visit the GitHub repository in your account page, you will, you will be able to see all the changes that you have made locally. And then of course I will provide you Git commands, which is basically called cheat sheet. So let's start the hands-on. So in Windows system, you can simply open Git Bash. I'm assuming that you have already installed Git, Git in your system. But for Mac and Linux or any other operating system, just open cell, cell command. Then you will be able to execute any Git related commands. I have set up this account for this tutorial. So I do not have anything configured uh, related to the Git. So as I have nothing, so let's create a Git folder right under user directory. So under this git folder, we will be creating all the git related projects. So let's get into the git folder. So let's create a git project named let's say demo. So get into the demo folder and then just fire git in it. See here we didn't have any anything right before the git init command. However, running the git init command, we are getting a master. So that means git has initialized this folder as a git repository and it has a master branch. So in that way you can create any project just running the git init command. Here if I run ls minus a so you can see there is a dot git folder created right. So if you get into the dot git folder you will see there are different various folders. So that is where git maintains all related configuration git related configuration. However, you are not supposed to change anything under this .git folder. So let's move out from .git folder. Now let's assume our objective is to make some changes in our local git repository and upload it the same changes into the github repository. So before going into that, that hands on, you have to have a github account, right? So let's create a github account. So if you hit github.com in your browser, you will see this page. 
I am assuming that you do not have any account. So let's create a sign up account. I have already signed up into the GitHub account. However, just for your reference, you can put your uh, username here. Then use one of your email address that you can validate the activation link. And then you have to choose a password. Just click on the sign up for GitHub button. You will have your own GitHub account. So I have activated the GitHub account and this is the default page you can see. So here you can create any number of projects, public projects. So let's create a public project. So click on start a project. So let's create a demo project and you can put your description. And here you have two options, public and private. If you are using free GitHub account, you can create unlimited number of public, public GitHub repository. If you want to create unlimited number of private Git repository, then you have to subscribe GitHub plan. So let's initialize this repository with a readme and hit create repository. So here you go. You have a demo project created under GitHub repository. So now what's next? So you can clone or download this entire project in your local system. So let's copy the URL of this project from here. So here you can see use HTTPS and use SSH. So I prefer SSH. So I'm just showing the demonstration using SSH. However, you are free to use HTTPS as well. So I'm copying SSH URL. So I have nothing under the Git folder or directory. I have deleted the earlier local demo project. So let's use Git clone and then the URL, right? Let's see what happens. So you can see it is actually not allowing you to clone the repository, could not read from the remote repository. Why? Because the GitHub repository cannot authenticate your local system. So how can we proceed? So to configure your authentication between your local system and the GitHub repository, you need to configure your SSH key. I suppose you are familiar with the SSH concept. However, just to summarize, this is a public private key concept. So using a private key and the public key combination, your local system will be validated against GitHub repository. I am assuming you have not created any SSH key in your local system uh, similar to me because I am just setting up the Git. So what you will do, you will write this command. If you use SSH keygen hyphen TRSA, that is the mechanism of generating the key and then hyphen B. So that is a bits, how, uh, how many bits that you are uh, you want to use for this key generation and then hyphen C that where you will put your comments. So as per standard best practice, we use our email ID for that account. So it is generating public private RSA key. So it is asking for a file name where it will store the key. So by default, it uses .ssh id rsa. So let's keep the default file name. Enter passphrase. It is best practice you use passphrase. However, I usually don't use it because if you use a password, so every git command you need to provide that password as well. So just for my flexibility, I don't use password. So here you go. You have ssh key. So let's uh, see what it has generated. So go to .ssh directory. Here you can see there are three files id rsa that contains the private key another file id rsa.pub that contains the public key that you will be sharing with uh, github whenever you set up the public private key mechanism it will add the corresponding host in the known host file now clear the screen so let's copy the public key go to the browser so here in the top right corner, right beside your avatar icon, you see a arrow. So click on that and click on settings. So here there are many options in the left panel. So, so click on SSH and GPG keys. Now click new SSH key. Just paste your public key here. You give a name. Click on add SSH. So paste your password. So the new SSH key has been added. So now go back to the terminal. So now if I try to clone the project again, so the project has successfully cloned, right? So now if I write ls, go into the demo. So you can see the readme.md. If you go to the browser, the same readme.md file exists in your local repository as well. So let's make some changes in your local system and try to upload the changes in the GitHub repository. So let's create a temp file. So let's save the changes. Now we have a temp.txt in our local git repository. So let's check the status. So here you can see the temp.txt in appears in red. So that means it is created 
but it is still not under git tracking system so you have to add the temp.txt in git tracking system using git add command so now if i use git status here you see that it uh, becomes green right that means git has started tracking the file so now onwards if you change so now onwards if you change anything on this temp.txt file git will track that so now commit the change so let's use the git commit command with hyphen m flag and your description of the of the changes my first git change so what happens as we have not set the username and the corresponding email id it is not committing your changes so that means we have to set your username and email id so let's clear the screen so use git config user.name ctt command to set the username and similarly git config user.email and the corresponding email id so now we are all set git is configured locally now you can use git commit so it is committed right so if i use git status again you see nothing that and it is also saying your branch is ahead of origin master by one commit so you have just made one commit that is basically ahead of our remote github repository now if we go back to the github repository you don't see in this file if i refresh this page if you don't see this temp.txt file present here right but if i so let's go back to the terminal and upload the committed change git push and then origin master you can simply use git push however it is better always use the branch name git push origin means the remote github repository and your branch that you want to actually upload so currently we have one branch that is master so i am uploading git push origin master so changes has been uploaded now go back to the browser again refresh the page here you can see the tame.txt file is there and the comment message also is appearing my first commit right so in this way you can easily make any changes in your local system here and then add those changes using git add command so git will so git will start tracking all those changes and all those files and then use git commit commit the changes passes the changes in your local system and then then you can use git push to upload all the changes from your local system to github repository so in this way you can configure the git repository in your local system and configure your ssh key with github repository and you can easily clone any project exist in your github repository and work locally and upload your changes to the github again so let's go back to the slide so we have done all the steps uh, i i believe you have followed and you, so now you can start your git journey smoothly so i have also provided few git commands which is basically a cheat sheet so you can refer all these commands and i also pro provided the purpose so you can quickly understand the purpose of each commands and use those commands as you need it going forward so that's it guys for today i hope you like this video and if you like it please subscribe and support this channel so whenever i upload any new videos you will be notified accordingly thank you